Hi everyone. So today is my first day at Meta, and I'm all ready. I'll be just heading towards my office. So it's around 6:55 here in London, and we are expected to report at 7:45. uh so we are kind of on time not too early uh, not too late interesting thing is that i'll be taking the south eastern rail and it's not like it just comes every 2 minutes it comes after kind of like every 10 minutes or 15 minutes so there is a fixed schedule so the moment i miss one train that means i'm late by 15 minutes so i'll be just heading right towards uh the station and the station is very near it's kind of like 2 minutes walk uh, from my uh, apartment uh don't just bother about the mess behind we are still setting up a lot of things here see you in the whole day we have a long day ahead and uh, i'll show you a couple of things around so this is kind of like the lobby area of my tower of the apartment i'll show you the flat some day else and like the whole amenities and all but it's a very nice apartment that i have i really love it and you can see the neighborhood we are pretty early it's 7 so not too many people on the road what i'm planning is uh, maybe i can take a coffee because in my apartment there is free coffee you can take kind of like unlimited free coffee so i'm planning to maybe take a free coffee very quickly and then i'll head towards the station i guess we have approximately 13 14 minutes to reach the station so let's quickly head on so that is the westfield mall and There are two stations from Westfield Mall. One is a Stratford International, but I guess it's a normal Stratford Underground. We are going to Stratford International one. So you can see there are not many people because the mall is still closed, but the entrance is still from the mall only. Mall opens around ten, and then there are a lot of people around here. Just get my metro card recharged done, and then we'll move ahead. So this is our platform. platform number 2 and you can see i am not sure if you can see or not but we have a train coming for london st pancras that's where we are going so the coffee machine of my apartment was not working today interestingly i didn't want to waste time also so st pancras is kind of like a very central station so there are a lot of coffee shops prep starbucks all of these things are here so i thought maybe i can maybe grab a starbucks and also have to wait for my friend to come so i'm taking a coffee for him as well so he is still on the way one of the lines are disrupted he is running late by 5 minutes ये थोड़ा कॉमन होता है लंदन में दैट यू प्लान योर डे बिकॉज ऑफ एंड देन बिकॉज ऑफ सम स्पेसिफिक ट्रेन लाइन इट गेट्स डिस्ट्रप्टेड सो इट्स वेरी कॉमन आई हैव सीन इट मल्टीपल टाइम्स हेयर नो वरी सी विल बी देयर विल बी हेयर लाइक इन फाइव मिनट्स बाय द टाइम आर कॉफी विल बी आल्सो रेडी सो देन वी विल हेड टुवर्ड्स द ऑफिस ठीक है
currently we are kind of like one third done in the onboarding i'm really excited for the day we talked about a lot of interesting things here in the office met a lot of people um, this is kind of like my first experience for an offline onboarding and i really enjoy it i don't know why um, like companies have stopped doing this uh, a lot of companies uh, you can see they just do online zoom meetings and all but this experience is like crazy uh, also motivates and boosts you up for the upcoming work so this is kind of like exciting uh, i'm heading over to lunch and after lunch we'll be having some more interesting sessions but i can tell you the peer interaction other people from what diversity they are coming from all of this is super exciting i'll just finish my coke and head direct to the lunch So currently it's 5 in 5 p.m. in the evening. A lot of things have been done. We got all the devices, basic device setup we were able to do. Um, currently it's uh, I'm outside. Uh, this is kind of like a common area in Kings Cross. A lot of offices are there behind the scenes. You can see there is a Google office. So um, I believe the first day was nice, and some very interesting facts I came to know. um most of the time like previously every time during the onboarding i used to get the device delivered at my place this was the first time i was kind of like receiving the device in office so that was also nice um most of the time whenever you join a company you get a lot of tasks onboarding tasks you have to do some small work here and there similar thing is going to happen but i believe uh, whatever i came to know about the overall dev culture and the engineering culture here I believe it's kind of like a very move fast type of a culture and I'm assuming that they will be having a lot of focus on dev productivity which was something that was somehow lacking in Microsoft like again it can be my opinion uh but yeah so I'll be heading home in like half an hour or maybe one hour I have a small things set up left for my phone corp phone you got a corp phone for on call perspective all of those uh like every tech company uh, has similar stuff so it's nothing new but yeah i believe the overall meet and greet was nice there are people from different different countries a lot of people from india as well and meta has a now an office in bangalore so a few people from bangalore were also there so it's kind of like nice and uh, feels nice to be in london everybody was actually asking where do you work where you used to work earlier and all uh, interestingly i have my place sorted in london so that was also kind of like a good ice breaker today that okay everybody was asking like uh where you are going to live how you sorted the house so early so on and so forth so yeah uh, i didn't meet my manager yet uh because probably this week someday we are going to meet uh together but not today so day zero going fine let's see how it goes So in the morning I think this area was all empty but uh, this is where the station actually opens it's a food court here and those are the stairs that we are going to take to go back home it's very very near but this mall gets very crowded so I'm going back home now and day 0 you can say is over for the NHO uh, interestingly no as such technical discussion happened mostly we were talking about what's the vision of the company mission of the company all of these kind of uh, things but the sessions were very very interesting and uh, we have the tech setup done so from tomorrow 
all the technical discussions and all will be going on i actually researched a bit around the tech stack that we are going to have at meta and uh, meta actually promotes a lot of open source stuff for example react again is built uh, from scratch uh, at meta the a lot of server side coding is done in an open source language called as hack uh, which is you can say php on steroids um, they have their own build system and all everything is open source so i actually was researching about uh, exactly what are the things that uh, is done at meta and i was actually reading about it uh, while i was like moving here and i found out that uh, the tech stack is going to be good i know uh, while listening to the fact that a lot of server side code is written in php a lot of people might be like kind of like turned off but uh, interestingly they have developed hack in a way that the overall dev productivity type safety performance everything is super optimized and i've heard a lot about it that their coding environment and everything is very good so let's see how it is and some of my experience from google also is going to be useful here like in google also like the i would say version control was different here also it is going to be different but they are kind of like similar in some sense the concepts of mono repos and all so let's see how the experience goes but a lot of googlers were there a lot of ex googlers were there there were people from google zurich uh, google bangalore right so i was able to see uh, one guy was from google singapore as well so a lot of googlers were there i found one uh, ex microsoft guy as well so i believe uh, in tech you find people from your ex companies very easily at least uh, again this was my experience today so yeah, overall fun day and uh, we went to that music room and like playing room and arena but this was just one building at kings cross meta has a couple of buildings in kings cross and there are like multiple offices in london so i'll probably visit the other office also someday